G'day, Daniel Bower here from CropSmart. Today I just want to talk to you about a few things to take into consideration when applying imidacloprid cloprid to your seed for next season. So this season we saw a number of cereal crops infested with Russian wheat aphids, uh, resulting in varied yield losses in different areas. Uh, what seemed to be giving the best control was imidacloprid applied to the seed and as a result many farms are opting to apply imidacloprid this upcoming season. Uh, so a few things to keep in mind, um, you only want to use good quality grain when applying imidacloprid, um, you don't want any impurities in your sample like dust or straw or, or screenings, um, the chemical is going to bind to these and it's going to be lost for you out in the paddocks so just use good quality seed and get the most out of, out of the product. You, uh, imidacloprid also gives good control on stored grain pests and yellow leaf dwarf virus in barley. It's highly compatible with just about every seed dressing there is out there, uh, including your more common tebaconazoles and tritaminols. Um, and as far as rates go, uh, the 1.2 litre per tonne rate seem to be giving really good control uh, on Russian wheat aphids in most areas. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to give your local CropSmart store a call today. Thank you.